welcome if you're here for the first time. I'm currently in Hilton Head Island for a work trip and we're kind of like making it a little vacay too. So today is Sunday and we just got here a few minutes ago. Just walked in the hotel room and the air is going in front of me so hopefully you can hear me okay. But Tonight is a proposal for one of my friends, for her best friend, so I'm really excited for it. I'm shooting it, and it's like, I don't know, 4.30, 4.40 right now, and we're doing it at 6.30, so we rode by where he's gonna, like, walk out on the beach access before we got here, so I could just, like, scope it out and see where I need to be, where I'm gonna be, like, hiding and stuff. And so basically I'm gonna like follow them out onto the beach and then he's gonna propose. My friend, her name is Sandra and she is pregnant. So she's here and she wanted to be here for the proposal but also we're gonna do her maternity pictures tomorrow morning, Monday morning. We're gonna do a sunrise shoot and then Drew and I are just gonna have like a beach day and do like dinner and ice cream and something like that and then Tuesday maybe go to a few stores and head home so that's the plan and I will show you guys our hotel room so you just walk in through here you have the bathroom it's pretty nice the shower is nice um you get a wider lens but yeah that's what the shower looks like and then we just saw this fridge which is huge like it I mean huge for a hotel room and then we have like a whole little kitchenette thing with a little dishwasher, which I've never had in a hotel room before. And then you just come in and there's a, I think that's a queen bed, a little pull out couch right there. So it's a pretty big hotel room. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any footage from the proposal because obviously I'll be preoccupied shooting it, but I'm really excited. It's going to be really pretty. We'll probably just go somewhere low key for dinner tonight, but it's going to be a good few days. Downstairs. Well, actually, we met with the couple, and we were staying in the same hotel. So we we met outside in the hallway, and then we walked downstairs and went to the beach for sunrise. It was so freaking pretty. I'll insert a few pictures here from like their previews, but it was really, really beautiful. The sunrise was gorgeous. We're obviously both really tired, so now we're at Duncan, and Duncan had a reward on their app for like a free ice matcha with 
any purchase so I just did that because I wanted a coffee but I didn't want matcha instead of that I've only ever tried matcha one time like four years ago or five years ago and it was okay and I just want to try it again so it was free I'm gonna try the matcha latte and see if I like it <laughs> Duncan, we figured out the perfect recipe for iced coffee. You have to ask for medium iced coffee, four cream, four sugar. I'm gonna taste test and see if it's good from this Duncan. It's so good. Greek. I spilled it on myself. Time for the matcha taste test. very different than I expected. It tastes like, I don't even know. Like a plant milk, like plants mixed with milk, leaves. They kind of taste like leaves. So after we went to Duncan, we came back to the hotel and we just like hung out here for a little bit. We were both so tired so we just like laid in bed and chilled for like an hour. I think Drew might have gone back to sleep but I was just laying there and I played on my phone some. And then got ready, went to the beach. It was really nice but it was so hot. It said like feels like 104. It was very, very hot. And then we left around one, came back here just like got ready did a little bit of work on my phone and then got ready and now we're just gonna go to honestly just wherever we feel like because we're just kind of killing time before dinner tonight but we want to do an early dinner so then whenever we go to dinner and like eat out i feel like i can never eat dessert after because i'm always so full so i thought if we go to an early dinner then we'll have time to walk around and um make room for ice cream because we're gonna get some ice cream so that's the plan but i figured we would go to we love going to barnes and noble so we're gonna go to barnes and noble and then maybe the outlets that are near here and then i found like another bookstore so that's the plan for the rest of the day and i'm excited other than the fact that it is so hot
not good. day but it's been really good so after I last talked on the camera we went to Barnes Noble and just browsed around just realized you can see that I'm just sitting on the toilet and I'm just sitting on the toilet lid something about me and Drew is we love going to Barnes Noble we love looking at the Harry Potter section of Barnes Noble if there is any Harry Potter merchandise in a store we are gonna find it and then we went to the Tanger outlets so there's like two different Tanger outlets in Hilton Head there's Tanger outlets one Tanger outlets two we went to the second one first there's actually like a lot of traffic on the way but we went to a bunch of different stores. We weren't planning on buying anything. We didn't get anything. And then went to Tanger Outlets 2. 
And we actually both ended up getting something. So Drew's been needing just like two or three more polos just to wear for work and like every day. So he got one because it was on sale like over half off of normal price. And then I got some shoes. Dang it, we didn't bring them up. I forgot about showing, to, showing them to the camera. But I'll show you guys tomorrow in the car. We left them in the car. But I have been needing some tennis shoes for so long just for like working out in and exercising in. So I'm really excited about them. They're so pretty. I love the color. And Drew has the guy version of them. So he loves his. And they were just so soft and like cushiony. And they were on super sale. They were like originally $190 and they were like $70. So. It was a crazy sale. Thankful for that. Then we went to Sea Pines. It's like a private community, I guess, in Home Head, but you can pay to get in. It's $9 entry fee, and that's like an all day thing, I think. And the parking was terrible. It took us a long time to find a spot. There's like tons of neighborhoods and like a garden and like a farm and stuff. And then there's this little area with all these shops it's called harbor town and there's like harbor town lighthouse you can go inside of it does cost money it's like i think it was 625 if you wanted to go up there so we didn't go up there but there is like a little lighthouse slash like bookstore ish inside the first level and we were able to find a little bit of Harry Potter merchandise in there but we just walked around went to some different shops and then we left and went to this Mexican restaurant called San Miguel's. It's really good. Their queso was amazing, but it came with like these, it said fried tortillas, like comes with our fried tortillas, which I just thought was like regular tortilla chips, but they were like puffy, crunchy bread. It was interesting, not my favorite. We also had chips that came with like an email chips and salsa so we just used the chips for the queso but it was really good i liked mine a lot drew liked his and then we went to an ice cream place the ice cream place was called frosty's italian ices and more they did have italian ice but they also had a lot of ice cream too and it looks like they had some gelato too but it was really good we both got mint chocolate chip so expensive though i got a kid scoop drew got a small and it was 11.62 which i thought was ridiculous now we're back in the hotel and we're just going to shower and chill until tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll probably just wake up and head home. We are back home and before I end the video I just wanted to show the new shoes that I got. They are so freaking pretty. This is my favorite color. If I had to choose a favorite color it would be pink but specifically this pink. I feel like it's pretty true to um on camera to what it is in person these are i think they're called ultra boost they're so pretty i'm so excited to wear them the inside was like so cushioned and comfortable but anyway this morning all we did was wake up went downstairs for breakfast at the hotel it was just like a typical hotel breakfast um they had like cereal and waffles and yogurt and like apples and bananas and oatmeal and like biscuits and stuff and then we just headed home and so we just got home it's like i don't have my watch on but it's like two i think around 2 2 30. that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye